go, bro. Yeah. I mean, this is definitely like a, a two years ago <laughs> kind of top yeah, eight. Right? Yeah, right? Yeah. Literally, nothing's changed. <laughs> yep. Here we go. We got uh, Vivi coming up to bat, facing off against Ray, the previous winner. Um, and we're going to see how this goes. So Vivi's been playing a lot of uh, Hero lately. I mean, yep. that's literally the main. I mean, it's either that or like Lucario. He played Lucario against Jen mm -hmm. earlier in uh, Winner's Semis. Yeah, Vivi's showing us that, you know, he's not necessarily looking to just stick to one character for a whole bracket. He will pull out his different characters. Which gimmick am I pulling out this time? Yeah, I mean, basically, are you, you going to kill them at 50 while you're at 180, or are you going to kaboom them? Kaboom. We're, looking like, uh, we're looking like some kabooming is going to go on right now. And, I mean... Vivi definitely going to be looking to get those buffs on. Rosa, not necessarily, I mean, the fastest character. She can put a lot of stuff in your face with that uh, Luma. But it's going to be a little difficult to contest Hero while he's collecting those buffs and sending out those spells. And that's the name of the game for Hero, right? It's just trying to get as many buffs as oh, possible. Yeah, most Excel, Roddle, Psych Up, Oof, the whole shebang. And I mean, despite that, though, we still see, even on an Excel Roddle Hero, uh, Ray able to connect that up smash. That was scary. It, that it, was it, definitely it, scary. If Ray didn't have a full shield, that would have been, been a potential shield yeah, break. Yeah, I believe these two played earlier today, and I saw that basically same interaction go down, and Ray jumped, actually, instead of, you know, trying to collect a punish on that fully charged side beat. In this situation, you know, comfortable with the full shield, so we're just gonna, we're just gonna chill out. Ooh, I don't know what happened with that turnaround grab. Maybe they thought that Vivi would cross them up, but getting Vivi out of trouble there. Now we got... Vivi kind of taking a uh, center stage approach to this ledge trap here, you know. Not really concerned about the immediate get off ledge, but just keeping Rosa out in general. Ooh, ooh. he would. He would. He like, would. Literally, that thwack off stage. I mean, like, he would. that was like a last ditch effort because Vivi was in a bad spot, but hey, you know. Yeah, I mean, Ray getting the stock off that, but Kaboom is in play. Those movement buffs for Hero, so difficult to track on that advantage state. I mean, allowing any anytime you have Accelerado, it's going to be much harder for, for you to get back to that stage. And right now, we got Vivi kind of just holding down the fort on this battlefield, not really giving uh, Ray a chance to really get back in. He's tacked on almost 80%. Yeah, a lot of damage out the gate here for Vivi. And literally, this could be really tough because of the nature of Hero has the ability to just like get really fast KOs or really lucky KOs based on like if you get like a critical hit on like a smash attack or a the tilt. Yeah. You know, like something that could literally work him out. But BB seems to top prioritize Accelerado as his like spell of choice because look at the movement he gets from. Right? Oh, he turns yeah. into Sweet Monado Art Shulk. You know? I mean, like, yeah. It, on the, you know, like order of needs, I guess, I would imagine Accelerado is like the first thing that you pick. It in gives any you given so situation. much. It's really just like one of the best things that hero has to offer it makes so many more matchups so much easier and you know top decking it basically at this point as soon as he sees it on that screen it is a rough it oh, is a wrap. this is bad accelerado in psych up that yeah. next hit's gonna hurt we are bro. going to see a very devastating next hit if vv is able to connect something with this psych up i mean one of heroes like regular kill modes is gonna kill there that tilt catching the dash you know i mean the whole game really vv kind of just keeping ray in that corner, still a close game, uh, Ray definitely contending, but I mean, just look at the pressure, you know? You're, you're kind of forced to, uh, to you know, swing or, or something. I mean, even Ray playing it pretty patiently there, but, yeah. but Vivi showing, you know, I just need this next hit, right? I mean, even at the end, Ray was playing very passive. He, he was trying to bait out something from Vivi, try to go for a punish afterwards, and mm -hmm. Vivi just said, I had enough, I'm holding forward, and I'm gonna get this forward tilt. <laughs> yeah. Because it caught, it, like, right there, I think Ray was gonna try to, like, turn around or whatever, but then Ray just, Vivi just caught him off guard. Yeah, that I mean, that initial dash will definitely get you into some trouble if, if someone predicts it, mm -hmm. so exactly what we're seeing there. And well, Vivi had advantage because he was in the center of the stage, right? So, yeah. like, Ray was again, up against the wall, he was waiting for... Luma to come back up. He was waiting to try to find an opportunity to try to retake center stage, not necessarily get a hit, but just try to get away from the corner. And yeah. Vivi just did not give it up. Yeah, for sure. I mean, Vivi's been taking less of like an in-your-face approach to keeping keeping uh, Ray at the ledge, but overall, I mean, he just kind of wants him to stay away from the center because we've seen in the sets that 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 Ray just won. He he won it a lot by holding that center stage and. 
We're, we're gonna see what he what he can do when he when he gains access to it right now. But Vivi coming in with that grab, saying no, sir. Oh man, he was thinking about Thwack for a second. Based on like if Ray would have upbeat towards him, which he would not have done. Mm -hmm. There's a Thwack waiting with his name on it. But like obviously Ray's gonna go for the ledge, especially when he sees Hero just sitting there going, hmm, what, what am I gonna do today? Oh, the kaboom reversal. I mean that is that really is disgusting. That is just a tough spot because I mean you're sitting there as Rosa. And, you know, even if you notice the, the fact that Kaboom is in play, you know, what do you, unless you react immediately and get out of there, it's kind of, my catch up. They're going to catch you. Bro, I've never seen Luma's fist that vividly before. Oh, yeah, he was swanging on that one, bro. Like, I, did, does Luma always swing like that? No, yeah, he's, he be, he's swinging. always got that knuckles, like, Yeah, knuckles get off my Joe. moms, bro. Wow. Yep. That's OD. Luma, Luma puts in the work. Think about that whack again. Always a consideration. Ooh, you know, think about that thwack again. Thinking about that thwack, you think know. Think about that whack, think about that thwack. Definitely, you know the vibes. I definitely know the vibes, you know. Definitely don't want to get hit by that move. That's very, uh, very demoralizing to say the least. Ooh, the parry into jump. Side B, interesting choice there, but working out for Vivi. Another side B. You know, these these are safe tools that you can kind of just put onto Rosa and, and not much she can do about that, you know, unless you get the preemptive jump over. Even then, you know, with a character like Rosa, not sure that you'll be able to execute a punish, but here we have Ray getting a little more comfortable in the center of the stage, catching that roll with the Luma jab. That's going to be a lot of damage. The Accelerodal. Ooh, and I mean... Good call out. Yeah, for sure. You know, that Accelerado, we talked about how difficult it can be to land hits on Hero when he has it. But, I mean, Ray, you know, not struggling too much. Ooh, no mana. That sucks. Where's your mana, bro? We're out of MP like Ooh. that. It's just like the worst thing that could happen to you. Yeah, pretty much. Gonna go for the zoom. Has the higher chance of being able to proc when you're off stage. So, good luck for VV to be able to get back on. Still stuck in the corner a little bit here. That... Calling Zappel. out that roll right there. Zappel was really good at being able to push away Luma, but yeah. afterwards it was a little tough. Mm -hmm. And I mean, we're looking at a four mana VV right now, so you know this is really a time for Ray to put in the work. And there we go, getting that up smash to grab that lead. Trying to find his way back into the center of the stage as VV comes from that angel platform, starts racking up the buffs, racking up the kaboom. Kaboom! Yep. Get him you out know out it's of coming here. out. The bounce, the accelerado. We are stacked right now. Looking a little tough here for Ray to try to survive this stock. Trying to wait out some of these buffs, but some of them are going to stay for quite a while. And so. I mean, some of them will stay until until you, you get a hit. A I hit. Yeah. Psycho, hello. Oh, oh. BB rolling through that pressure. I mean, you know, something that Ray kind of looked for a couple times, but getting away with it that time. That's going to be a grab. That's right. Now we got Vivi off the stage. What is his option to get back? Going to just kind of chill. But, you know, I mean, the second you make an advance towards center, Ray is going to be there with that up smash. Man, Luma putting in oh, work man, right now. Sense. Literally just protecting Ray's recovery. Yeah, Luma just I mean, coming in clutch. Vivi really needed to take advantage of that offstage situation. I mean, Ray from across the entire screen kind of just spamming that side B and, uh, and getting Luma to, you know, Give him a little shove. This is looking like Ray's game. And as I say, it's going to connect that down air. Ray going to take away game number two. And just like the last set, loses game number one, but gets a little bit more data. Takes game two and could potentially steamroll this into a game three situation where That's he's going right. to find himself with a set win and move on into losers finals. Yeah, I mean, the survivability coming in from Ray was huge there. Making it to 161%, you know. I mean, we talked Look about how. Oh, Look yeah, that. that. That's the fifth, bro. The fist. He's swanging. He pulls no punches. I just can't believe I've never seen that before. Nah, like it's, that it's pretty funny. I never looked like I never looked like that closely yeah. at Luma. It's Not little, many people have. <laughs> little raindrop, bro. Yeah. A little little raindrop, little cool. fist coming cool. out of a little cutie be swinging on you. It's crazy. Oh wait, this song? We got the bangers. You know the music oh, counterpart's gonna be coming in. From the, I'm so glad we got Tekken music in this game, dog. Pretty, that was like the one thing. Dude, I love this song. It's it's pretty bad. It's I'm not, pretty, I'm not even going to uh, cast this. I'm just going to listen to the music. Fire. I'm just going to listen to the music. Two, one, go. Definitely very intense. Alright. We got... We got with that bounce, you know, kind of just brute forcing his way out of the corner with those spells. 
I just be vibing, bro. I just be vibing. I mean, I, I, let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. He is vibing. In every sense of the word. Okay, here we go. Uh, you know, small battlefield. What can we say about this that we haven't, you haven't heard before? Two platforms on the stage. Going to make it uh, pretty good for uh, Vivi just to be able to maneuver around. Now having that top platform for Raid to be able to escape to with uh, their limited recovery. Yep. So it's going to be held out. Already has the psych up ready to go. Looking for a potential kill here depending on what the next option is. I mean, you killed something. Yep, you killed Luma. I mean, that is essential to... Waste of a psych up in my yeah. opinion. But I mean, you know, you take what you get. That is, that, you know, Luma pretty important. Pretty integral part of this character. Certainly wish that he probably got the hit on Rosa herself, but taking out Luma, no, no problems there. You know, yeah, yeah, like you mentioned with the small battlefield pick, you know, we see Vivi really taking advantage of going under these platforms, running through his spells, trying to get the buffs that he needs, and with that platform there, uh, you know, Ray's gonna have a harder time coming up with like a landing there or something like that, force more on a horizontal plane. Gonna spot down that grab, grab the up tilt. Bro, that standoff with Zoom or Snooze was crazy. Mm -hmm. Like, Ray, like, oh, what a good uh, edge guard coming out from uh, Bray. Yeah. Managed to just catch Vivi's double jump with that down tilt. Put Vivi at such an awkward angle that unless he got Zoom, there was no way he was coming back. Yeah, and then, you know, Ray definitely going to pick up on those quickly. Ooh, trying to catch Vivi slacking in the corner. You know, we notice how he's waiting long, trying to grab these spells. Ray trying to get a grab off that, but Vivi ready with the roll. Ooh, speaking of rolls, we got Ray prepared for Vivi's roll with that jab. Oh no, he was so hungry for the Zapple that it just forced him to... That could be the set right there. That, you that, truly that's do the, hate to see it. I mean, listen, it's that's hero. That's the decider of the set right there. But that, that, is, that is pretty huge. You kill yourself at 50, I mean, there's really no other way to put it. And we have Ray running with that momentum right now. Catching the roll that he missed that last time. We're gonna see if Vivi can regain some composure here after that SD and kind of find their find perhaps she's their way back into this game. It is I'm, hero though. I mean, at this at. point, Vivi has to go for stuff like Thwack, like because like yeah. even though it's not the most optimal thing to do, because oh my God, that big the spacing on burst. that F smash. I mean, you know, Vivi extending his hitbox with the jab, but still, I mean, that was. Look at this punch. That was crazy. You know, Luma I, goes to the gym, bro. Luma definitely goes that. to the gym. Luma be putting in the work. Look at this. Ready? I'm gonna dash back. Oh, I mean, oh, what a bait! Yeah, I mean, uh, just kind of standing there. Heroes love to mash that. That jab. is a Super Mario RPG timed hit. <laughs> if I've ever seen one, yeah, bro. Looking very. What do you mean, ew? It's pretty. What? Cool. It's a fist. Nah. Why is it gross? Describe to me why it's gross. I'm looking at. It. I don't see anything gross. I think I see. I see a swole little guy right I there. I see him swinging his heart out. That's all I see. I see hard work and dedication coming in from that Luma there. You know, I mean, after that SD, the pressure from Ray was really just too much to surmount for Vivi there, keeping him in that corner for quite some time. And Ray's going to keep up that gauntlet, going to move on into Loser's Finals to face off against Tilde. And then after that's going to be...